Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. No problem. It's, 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 it's nice to meet you, sir. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Well, we're, we're, we're Gadlians, but, uh... Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? But, but you're a big-name politician, and we're out there, you know, killing people. Like, wouldn't that look bad? That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me. But there's also one way I can help you. Okay, we're, we're listening. This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. That's really helpful. You're just giving it to us? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. We absolutely do. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Thank you so much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. We're back! So... It went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn! You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand, too. He's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Oh my god. Oh. What did he do? Oh, Oh my god, you found the kid a drum, right? Is this for him? Can he have it? Yeah, here, it's yours. Enjoy. Oh, thank you so much. He is so excited and grateful. He's not going to let you down. This was a good use of your time. Thank you so much. Well, what do you know? Fuck it. That fucker's pretty good. and calling you an asshole, but I need you to come over here right now and buy my illegal shit! What's that guy yelling about? Illegal stuff? I is he talking to us? Hey, over here! Widow with the talking gun! I'm the little concession man! I got illegal things for you! Come over here! You can buy illegal things for me! Hey, look at me! I'm the guy who sells stuff! I'm an illegal concessions guy! I like to sell you illegal stuff over here! Kids, what's up? My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? 
Why are you here selling alien cum? Is there seriously an actual market for that? I consider it policy not to ask my clients why they want the gallons and gallons of alien cum they buy from me. I figure the less questions I ask about what people are doing with all this alien cum, the better. So, are you buying or nay? Wait, hold, hold, hold the phone. What the fuck? You sell alien cum? I know it's gross, but calm down. My name is Stan, and I sell horrendous amounts of all sorts of alien cum. And we're just gonna have to live with that knowledge together now. Did we look like people that would want to buy alien cum? Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. But they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographic. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So, what? What's it gonna be? You want some alien cum or not? All right, uh, listen, we thought it over and we'll take some alien cum. Whoa, look at you. You want some alien cum. I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off of free alien cum. Take some on the house and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Blim City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. I was just starting to think maybe you didn't like me or something. We're looking for a jetpack. A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Cool, so where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Well, I was really kind of hoping we would get it right away. Look how dumb they look trying to figure out what to buy. Can I clack out early? No, why? What are you, the cops? I don't Take know. good care of your purchase, bounty hunter. I spent 15 years polishing it. Did you feel that chemistry there? Hey. 
Hello? Hi, is this Slippo's Pizza? I want a pizza now! I want it right now! Do you get me? Not in 30 minutes or less or whatever. I need it instantaneous! And I know we have the tech for that. Why are you still delivering pizza by foot? Just zap them to me! There's like 10 different ways you can do it by now. Portal door, work base, anything. I don't care. Just get it to me right now! Wait. Never mind. I'm not hungry. Bye. alien baby the trial wasn't publicized it wasn't on air like nobody saw it i, what I, I was pronounced innocent but nobody really saw it so I, I i'm 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 buying these commercials to just make sure everyone knows i did not kidnap the alien baby i did not do it uh it was it was uh confirmed in the court of alien law uh, hey, yo, discerning customer, would you be interested in some quote-unquote food? Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Excellent! Wow, you're hungry! Wow, you're hungry! Good day to you, food customer! See what I've got in stock on the food menu. Hey, good thinking. We should run as fast as possible at all times and not look at anything around us at all. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's 
fine. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Hey. Holy shit, this rules! I just Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com get back, bro. The trial wasn't publicized. It wasn't on air. Like nobody saw it. I, I was, I was pronounced innocent, but nobody really saw it. So I. I, I'm, I'm, I'm buying these commercials to just make sure everyone knows I did not Whoops! kidnap the alien baby. Uh, maybe let's not. try that again. Uh, nice! Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. And you're gonna be in all of them. It's called The Michael Show. Michael. And this is live right now. Yeah, this is live. Oh man, you know how I get nervous. I'll leave you to it. Okay, bye buddy, bye bye. All right. People really can watch this. People will just watch if a guy just beat himself. And the camera's gonna follow me if I go get groceries. Alright, so here we go. Are you gonna follow me when I go to the bathroom and stuff? Great. I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom now, so I don't want to. Before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Wait, you haven't even met him! Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here. While well, you're off, having fun, doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus! Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry, but I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant. 
and then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you! Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. At night, the mask is off. I look at myself. I may make the world think I'm happy, but I can't hide the truth for myself. Whatever happens, I must go on acting, acting, acting. Be a part of Shit, okay, well, no guarantees we're gonna save them again, but wh wh where are they? They're working at Screndel Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful, that place is freaky. Thanks! Oh, look who needs me! with your suit. Those killer jetpack skills, bud. Hey, <laughs> whoa! Now we're talking. Love that jungle breeze on my face. I can't wait to get back on the ground. <laughs> now this feels like the right way. Trust me, I can just feel it on my skin.
Want to use my disc? fun as you might think. You good, Bounty Hunter?
4 g 3 This is getting my blood pumping. Is somebody fucking sniping at us? Scrandal Labs is like, I mean, I, I, mean, like, I, I know a little bit. I mean, I, I, I heard a bit, so, so I kind of know. But I, I'm just making small talk right now, you know. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to fill the dead air. It's really uncomfortable. I mean, don't get mad at me if what I'm saying isn't that interesting, because you know, I'm, I'm doing my best here, you know. Hello, and welcome to Scranda Labs. Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. You gotta be kidding me, it's fucking Helen! Oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> we really appreciated that. But, sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're uh, gonna set off the alarm. Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 is coming for me. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. Oh shit, here they come. You know, hey, at least the elevators are working now. Uh, how do their bodies even work? Elevator 
fight. This is our best human Fergal hybrid specimen. It may not be as cool as our subject in the weapons lab, but it's still rather beautiful, isn't it? We call it a fur man. Or, or maybe a hurdle. I don't, we haven't decided yet. Why am I telling you all this? You know, to be honest, it's because you look cool and a little bit badass, to be frank. Yeah, sick experiment, dude. You killed a human and left a Fergal on its corpse. Who's the scientist here, me or you, huh? Faith in you, man. You ready, partner? This cannot be a good experiment. Would you like to do the honors? We're going to try to show up those cocky nerds in the weapons lab by fusing this human with some other aliens. Just hit the button. So you just let anybody come in here and help with experiments? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, we're not qualified. Look, I can do it myself if you don't want to. I'm just trying to be nice. Was 
wasn't supposed to happen. You hit the button, it's on you. That was on you. fucking mess in here. Now this is exactly what I was expecting. Hello, John. It's Dr. Gergen. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. It's only a small portion, and I doubt you'll even be able to comprehend what you're looking at. But I promised Garmantuas I'd provide them. And now please don't contact me again. Am I the only one getting bad vibes from the Dr. Gurglia guy? Is it just me? What is Gurglia? Is it what you, the, the sound that you make? Well, fuck me, man. They're messing with Gatlians. Hey, 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 we gotta breathe over here. Ah. Fuck! My name's Creature. The bad guys did experiments on me and fucked me up real bad in basically every way you can imagine. Holy shit, am I glad to see another Catlian alive in here. Uh, are there any others? Oh my god, yes! There's so many! Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no! These fucking G3 bastards! Creature, we're taking on the cartel. You want in? Oh, no, no, no. They take good care of me. Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me. Okay, you know what? Say it out loud. I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah. Welcome aboard, uh, creature. That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in. That's fine. Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Ah, beautiful. Look how one of my little fuckers just saved us. Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling, actually. But I'm numb to it. Children, they die fast. Don't worry, it's easy to make more, and it feels good. God, I love them so much. Oh, my life in the desert. 
Some people need no introduction. Here I am. You fuckers ready for Sweezy? me out. It's an honor. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, we're in. How was that? Was that helpful? Was it helpful that I gave birth to a lot of tiny guys really fast? Hey, is this gonna hurt? Is this gonna hurt getting a weapon grafted to my arm? You're gonna graft a galleon to my arm and that's gonna be permanent? Is that right? Because I'm, I'm obviously down to do it. I'm just a little scared that it's gonna hurt a lot. And then I'm also going to regret not being able to use my hand in the normal way. Can you do my right arm? I'm left-handed, so if you do my right arm, I'll still be able to write. Oh, you know what I'm thinking, though? It's actually going to be a problem because I, I'm left-handed, so I, I shoot with my left hand. So if you do my right arm, I'm not going to be able to shoot as well. This is bad. This is probably... Okay, let me... Just let me think. Let me think. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go through with this this way. Uh, maybe, maybe I can... Hey! Uh, yeah, I can fight, too! Let me help! you, G3 scum! Goddamn! How's it going? Oh, this makes me sick. So this is where they fuse Gatlings to Mercs. I gotta be honest, oh, it turns my stomach. I hate seeing this. All right! Let me shit out a bunch of my kids to help you fight! They can make a bad guy fight for us! Ah, oh, shit! That mind control thing doesn't last very long. Sorry about that. I keep yelling at my kids to make it last longer, but they're shitheads! They do not listen! Wow! They usually put me in an airtight crate whenever they take me outside. I really liked it. Oh, I can help you with that little hook bug hive. Shoot my little guys in there. Rustling up the hive. Isn't that cute? I'm so proud of him. Hey, this is fun! Do you do this sort of stuff all the time, bounty hunter?
I'm Jonathan fucking Screndel, aka the Hot Screndel Brother. Up yours! Prepare to die, Screndel! Hello again! You know, we can use this portal to head back to Blim, you know, whenever we want, but uh, also find Trudging Forward. Ooh, 
Ooh, I'm so down the clown, man. I don't know this, but I can help you here. This is totally my thing. I'm good at it. Angela Scrindle! Wanna kill him? Oh fuck! The bounty hunt is here! Holy shit, is that another Scrindle? They're, they're, they're getting away! When they're cheating straight! You can run, but you can't hide! today uh i guess it's supposed to be porn but it's like alien porn so i, I don't know I, I honestly have no idea what i'm watching i mean i was able to get off to it like after a while um honestly oh, what the hell what, what is this what is this why is this in here i'm trying to jack off this is really distracting to me but i'll still be able to do it trust me I, i've been through a lot uh, not sure why they want me to jack off this much but you know i'm happy to do it like all the tentacles and the moving parts it's i don't know there's something really endearing about it yeah i, I like it a lot actually i mean if, if i ever get out of here i i hope i can like bring this with me at least i mean i, I don't even think i could go back to normal porn after this nice Action! Nice! 
Okay, who we fighting? Okay, yep, got I don't know. I, I guess they're my kids. They, they figured out a way to get me pregnant. Then BAM! I shot all these weird freaks right out of my ass. I love them all. God, I love them so fucking much. My fucked up little boys. The people in charge here are mad because they're not human. Nobody really knows what species these things are, but I love them anyway. I mean, how, how can I not? How, how could a father not love his fucked up little alien spawn? It's impossible. I got this. Hell yeah! Are you guys okay in there? Hey! They want us to bang, but she uh, used to be my boss. Yeah, I was supposed to fire her, and then we all got abducted by aliens. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're not attracted to each other. I mean, she's cool, but not my type. She is my type, but she's not cool. I'm all over this! Be free, little humans! Be free! My kids everywhere. Ready if you need it.
jungle. Where did he go? Sweezy's ready for blood. Mine up. Fuck I'm you. I'm here for whatever you need. Just let me know. Oh, I'm sorry. We can stop chasing you if you'd like. Chocolate ready! Don't let me take a break, huh? Secret 
just fine. Do you guys? You gotta do you. It won't be a problem for us. But we don't have a problem with it at all. And we cool. came out or, or, or in the last book, I fucking found need a rest. Looks like we're in it. No turning back now. Ah, another bounty down. Look at us racking them up. <laughs> Good work, bounty hunter. What say we hit them? right now. Sorry. We just keep getting captured over and over again, you know? It's a lot to take in. I'm still able to talk because I've been captured the most. I'm just kind of numb to it now. Means nothing to me anymore. You really know 
whatever, aren't you? Obviously, he's not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Yeah. I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to, to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I, I, I'm Tweak. I'm dating your sister. Oh, this fucking guy. Tweak. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendalos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendalos. And leave Twig alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Twig. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Twig. You gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Aww. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Genie. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as... I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell them how pathetic he is. Oh, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Twig. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Twig. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? Good. Like I needed your approval anyway. This is a mistake. Ugh. That's enough of this. Tweeg, let's go to the park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. And Jill came tumbling after. Carrie and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pool of water. Carrie fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. At night, when the mask is off, I look at myself. I may make the world think I'm happy, but I 